Hey guys, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis on server 68. So today I want to talk to you about the Holy Palace. So a lot of people don't understand exactly its value, what it does. I know when I was uh, early in the game, I did neglect it a lot. Uh, as you can see, it's just catching up now. It is uh, very important in keeping your troops alive. It uh, comes into play in PvP, uh, most specifically in server action. So like on your own server when you're attacking somebody or also on defense when someone else is attacking you. Um, that's pretty much what it does, okay? So I'm gonna go into detail what it does, how to uh, increase its value, and how to keep your troops alive, basically. So there it is, right? Holy Palace. Let's click on it. Let's see what it does. So deserter capacity, 108,000 plus 43,000. So that's 43,000. Obviously has come from my technology, from my studies. The horn production speed and the death into troop soul rate. So that is an important thing we will discuss in a little bit. Uh, the horn speed is how quickly uh, it will, you will develop horns basically to revive troops. So as you can see, I have 9,700 troops in here. And I'm at 207 horns, right? So if you look here, my horn rate is 28 plus 24%. So... I guess I'm going up at about, uh, so 28 plus 7, 35 horns an hour. And if you look back in here, that is going to take me another 7, 8 hours before I can revive these troops. So now there's this area in the Holy Palace. Revive troop souls. You don't get that until you reach level 25. And if you go here, uh, basically, when your troops die, a good portion of them will go in here to revive. And here is the death of troop soul rate. I have a 36%. That's actually pretty low. Uh, a lot of people my size have over 50%. And I have a couple more things to do in science and also to up the Holy Palace level to get it there. But it really doesn't matter unless you drop bubble. And... Because I believe I don't drop a bubble, right? But that's kind of when you get in trouble. Uh, I just have been able to neglect my holy palace a little bit because of that. But uh, just do a bubble check just to make sure. Good, we're at two days. And uh, so let's look at how the holy palace works. So here you have your rally spot. So we're going to go over attacking first. So my rally size is... About 1.45 million troops. So if I attack someone and I send 1.45 million troops at them and I lose the battle, we're going to look at my hospital. And I have about 1.48 million. So more than my rally spot. So you would think I'd be safe, but you're actually not. So if you look at an attack and here i did a, some small pvps the other day these were just to get the gathering uh event done but you can look at the example here and in here you see deserters right so for some reason when you attack even if you win even, no matter what you're going to get some deserters and the deserters will go into the holy palace so they'll go to the cap, right? And But if, they, if you go over, my cap is 151,000. If you go over that, then they start to die. For some reason, when you attack, your troops always, some of them always end up dying or going into the Holy Palace. So your hospital level isn't enough. And plus you could put on march sizes, march buffs, right? So if you, if I would be to put on one of these increased by 50%, 100%, or 200%. If I was to put one of those on, I'd be over my hospital capacity anyways. So that's where the Holy Palace comes into play. Now we're going to look at the academy. 
and see how you can improve your holy palace. So first thing is look at recovery. This is directly linked to the holy palace. So you got all sorts of things like here. This will increase the capacity. This will speed up the horns. And then this stuff will reduce the, how because it costs resources as well to revive inside the holy palace. So that will help cheapen it. But then you got these things that are very important and it will increase the holy power palace deserter capacity and this is the very important one increase the troop soul rate and this one will also do troop souls so i haven't maxed it because these are as you can see 39 days and unless you're going to get attacked you don't need it so but it is on my list of things to do except a bunch of new sciences came out so it got pushed back a little bit and then you can t can continue to go down here and see all sorts of other stuff some is new but also in the medical wing, there I believe there's some stuff linked right here, the rescues. Increase the death turned wounded rate. So when you see an attack report, and I should have one from Battlefield recently. Let's see what I have here. I should have some attacks. I did some attacking. Uh, sometimes they don't load all your reports. Maybe I have something in saved area. Let's uh, scroll down here. And at the bottom, maybe I have one. Maybe It could be someone. Maybe I defended against somebody. Okay, so here's one. I defended. Here's this uh, Will Wallace, right? Famous guy. Uh, actually added me in-game the other day because he saw that I analyzed his report. So just by random chance, I opened this just to look at it. But basically, what you see here, these green numbers, I'll just circle them and we'll go back in. So when you attack somebody, some of those troops get turned death to survival and some get turned death to wounded. And a lot of that's based on your sciences. No one really knows exactly what the percentages are. The, the turn death to survival, and uh, one of them is related directly to the actual science levels that you have, but no one really understands why certain amount of troops actually just die in uh, battle. Even if you win, some of your troops will die, and some of the defender's troops, uh, he might just get all hospital and no death, even though you are the attacker. It doesn't make sense, but anyways, the best thing that it could say is just uh, do all the sciences and give yourself the best chance possible to have your troops survive. Now, this is the important thing here. The Probably the most important part is death into troop soul rate. So I have 17 plus 18.7. So that would give me 35.7%. So what that means is when we look at my troop details, I have 62.4 million troops. So first thing, that if I got killed all in one attack, Let's just pretend that happened. I had no wall general on, my subs weren't linked, and someone came out and whooped me. All 62.4 million of my troops lost the battle. Done. What's going to happen here is you're going to see my hospital get full of 1.4 million troops, and it's going to be all the highest ranked troops. right? So it's going to be basically all my swords go to the hospital. Then when you go into the Holy Palace, and you can see my capacity, 151,000. Then we're going to get 151,000 of my archers go into the Holy Palace. And that leaves me with, what's, what's that leave me with? 61 million more troops that are dead? Not quite. If you look at the Holy Palace and you look at the death into troop soul rate, that 35.7%, I'm going to keep 35.7 of my troops are going to go in here in the revived troop souls, but they're very expensive to heal. But 35% of my troops will live there. So, and the 35% will come from the top. So you could basically just count all the way down here till you get to 35% of my troops and those troops are all going into troop soul. So that's why it's important basically to look at this number, 35.7, and what's the opposite of that out of 100, right? It's basically 65%. So in a realistic scenario here, of my 65 million troops, 
65% of them should be T1 troops. So that way, if I was to get wiped out, it would only be my T1s that would die and everything else would go into a recoverable area in Troop Soul. So I have been working on my T1s. This is clearly not uh, 65%. This is more like about 10 or 12% of my troops. I have been increasing them recently. I've really been working on them and trying to get them up. But another thing I am doing is I'm also increasing my Holy Palace, as you can see it going up. And you can see the death into troop soul rate going up. So once I get to 35, I'll get another 8%. And once I get to 35, I will also be able to put a duty officer on, which will also increase the rate of everything in the building. And uh, basically that's my plan. It's why we haven't... Uh, it's why we haven't... Uh, or why I haven't really increased it and focused on it too much because I'm going to wait till I get the end number and I'm not too concerned about my bubble. So uh, it is a long range plan though. And it is something that I'm actually, actually I shouldn't say it's long range. It's actually quite in the short medium term where I am working on T1s. Last month I added about another three or four million and I'm hoping to do that all the time now. Just continue to add, but it's just so monotonous and so annoying. But basically that is how the Holy Palace works. No one really knows how the battle report figures things out for you when attacking. Uh, wh how, what percentage of your troops are actually going to be killed and then need to be revived. But the best you could do is increase the sciences to help that. And then on defense is where the troop soul really comes into play. Uh, I know some people who've been completely wiped out, but because they had a high number of T1 troops, nothing important was killed at all, and they could revive it all. But it costs you resources, and that sets you back in other ways. So that is how the Holy Palace works. Uh, let me know uh, any questions in the comments. Also, join that Discord channel. If you have any further questions you want to ask on there, make sure I hear it. Uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment.